Hey, welcome back to the channel. We have a new electronic gun safe that was sent to us free of charge, and we're going to open it up here, take a look at it, and tell you what we think. Uh, I'm a big proponent in gun safety and locking up your guns and your ammo, anything that uh, kids could get into that they shouldn't. So we already have our safe, but I underbought in the size, so we are going to add this to the mix. And so let's get this thing open and we can talk about uh, the features and benefits of this particular one. So this one is a little different than the one that I have. The other one that I have is uh, considerably heavier. Uh, I want to say this one is around 85 pounds. So it wasn't a problem for me to get in here on my own. I did use a little uh, dolly to roll it in. Made it a lot easier. Uh, always... Always like to do things the, the easiest way possible. The, uh, the other thing is the packaging says to make sure that you keep all of the packaging for up to 30 days. So if you were to have a problem with this safe, you're going to have to package it back up the way it was to return it. So, um, so I, this was a inner box to another box. So I opened the, laid it on its side, opened the bottom up, lifted it off. It came off very easily. It was well packaged with uh, metal corners to keep the corners from getting smashed. And so now we have uh, pretty much, should be able to lift this piece off, we'll see. I thought that was important to mention, uh, you know, since I got it free of charge, I don't imagine I'm gonna be sending it back for any reason, but I still am trying to uh, go through the process the best I can here just to make sure that we see what it's like to, uh, to take it apart. So this piece of the box is cut on the back or is taped on the back to where you could cut it and open it up, but it looks like it's gonna slide off nice and easy. Why did I miss this up here? So we're just gonna do that. We keep trying to make things easy. Good that we have vaulted ceilings here. Like I said, I've been very impressed with the uh, the overall packaging of this thing, so I'm anxious to get into it. It's going to have a keypad lock, a biometric lock, and also a backup key lock, uh, which is really nice. So I have one at home that is the dial, and there is no backup to it. Uh, I have another one that is a uh, keypad, and it has a backup key. But then you got to lock up your key somewhere so your key can't be found. So. This is a nice, affordable space. I'm, I'm really anxious to get inside here. Real quick, looking at the back, there are spots where you can bolt this to a wall, and I'm pretty certain the same is true on the bottom. Four bolt holes on the bottom. So, nice to be able to bolt it down, because it is light enough, it could be carried away potentially. So, I just pull that out. And we've got a bag of accessories here. We have anchor bolts for concrete floor. There are five bolts in there. We have a USB, and then we have our keys here. So let's just go ahead and open things up with the keys first. So it looks like it is gonna to need to be secured as it's the door is heavy enough, it's gonna cause it to kind of fall over here. There is a light on the door. We'll have to figure out. I'm gonna have to look at the instructions real quick. Three spots for handguns, shelf up top, and then some padded long gun racks, which we gotta figure out how those go in. So uh they look like. It. 
like they might just go in based on how you slide them in. I'm going to read the directions real quick and then we'll get back to it. Okay, so I've had some time to look at the uh, instructions for this thing. And i got to tell you, I'm very impressed with the amount of features that are included in this. So, um, first of all, I'm not, I haven't programmed everything yet. Uh, out of the box, there is a standard code that works that I can plug in. And it opens. I've put my batteries in, so now my light is functioning. And the battery compartment is here. So that's pretty nice having that light in there. I don't have that on my uh, more expensive uh, safe. Just lock it again. Uh, you can store up to 200 fingerprints. So out of the box, any fingerprint will work. So that's pretty cool. I'm uh, again, very impressed. Uh, a lot faster than turning a dial or punching in a, a noisy keypad. So. Uh, you can mute, you can, you can get rid of the sound so that it's silent if you were trying to get into it, you know, at, uh, say with an intruder or something, you don't want to be making noise. Uh, there is a, the USB cord is actually here so that if the batteries were to die, you can have a backup pat uh, battery pack and that's going to power everything uh, in the memory. So that's pretty awesome as well. And then of course, uh, two keys. So uh, there are all those ways to open this. Now, if you plug in your code and your code is wrong three times, it's going to do a 30 second alarm and beep for 30 seconds, make a lot of noise for that. So if you've got kids that are messing around with it, you're going to know uh, that they're messing with it. It also has a vibration alarm. So if uh, this thing starts to get knocked around or someone starts trying to uh, you know, take it, it's going to alarm as well. So again, great deterrence. Uh, if you're not home, obviously it doesn't matter, but it's also just a great deterrent for someone who's worried about, uh, you know, being detected messing with the safe. So again, we have uh, keypad access. We have biometric fingerprint access up to 200 fingerprints. We have key access. Uh, the codes for the, uh, the password here are anywhere from four to eight digits. So that's kind of nice. You can be uh, simple or, or more complex. The hinges look really, uh, really good and stout. Um, I mean, I think this is a great, um, you know, lower cost safe, but something that's going to keep people out of it within your household. So keep things that are dangerous away from children, uh, but also a deterrent for anyone who gets in that's going to have to spend time trying to break into this. So there are... Uh, three posts on the sides, two on the inside that are going to go in and lock down into the edges. As I mentioned, we have two removable uh, gun shelves, so those can be put in to match one another or separately. So if you've got multiple guns, you could set them up differently so they're going to stay in there and allow you to have uh, more guns being held in you're definitely going to need to have it anchored because it does rock. And so it's also a hazard for children if someone were to get in there and this thing be full and it fell over on them. You have the shelf up top, which is the metal shelf. It can be removed should you need to. But uh, yeah, I'm really, uh, really impressed with uh, the quality and the amount of features and functionality with it. So I think we're going to really uh, get some uh, some use out of this, enjoy having it. And, uh, you know, when our, our guests come to hunt or whatever, we've got additional space to lock up their guns and, uh, and just keep them out of reach from anybody, uh, children or otherwise. So very pleased with the gun safe. Thank you very much to the brand for sending it to us. I will leave a link in the description uh, and in the comments should you be interested in checking out or learning more about it. Otherwise, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.